the Atlas Post, how to get a free replacement EIP card. First of all, you're going to win the world as an EIP card. It's your economic impact payment card. And if you're watching this video, I'm presuming you know exactly what you're looking for. And of course, it's the money from the Coronavirus Aid Relief and Economic Security, or otherwise known as the CARES Act. The EIP card is sponsored by the Treasury Department's Bureau of the Fiscal Service as part of the U.S. Debit Card Program. And here are the details. One thing this the House, Senate, and President can agree on is that Americans and our economy needs more stimulus. They just haven't decided the amount. The House and Senate are far apart from making a decision on what the next stimulus plan looks like, although they're hoping it may be any day now because they want to go on their summer recess. So take a moment to give us a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe for more updates regarding stimulus, payments, unemployment, SBA loans, including the PPP and EIDL. Your EIP card or economic impact payment card is what you receive if you didn't receive a direct deposit or stimulus check, but instead received an EIP debit card for your stimulus payment. And if you're watching this video, you might have thrown it away as you didn't realize that plain white envelope your stimulus funds came in it, or you weren't expecting it and didn't think it was a real credit card. It's not. It's a debit card. You, you use the funds from it and discarded it because you didn't know you should keep it or whatever reason you don't have it and now need to get a replacement. So what do you do if you need to get a replacement? Well, there are many reasons that you need to get one. Is One is you dis discarded or you destroyed your EIP card. Basically, if you did this, what you need to do is you need to call customer service. The phone number is 800-240-8100. That's 800-240-8100 immediately and select the lost and stolen option. Your card will be deactivated to prevent anyone from using it and a new replacement card will be ordered. Your first reissued card will be free. See, there it is, free. And that's only for your first replacement card. And then a $7.50 fee will be applied for each additional reissued card. And if you happen to have your welcome packet. I'm presuming you don't, otherwise you might have seen this in your welcome packet, but just in case you do, um, you can find the information here, um, either in your welcome packet or online at eipcard.com for more information. And of course, if your EIP card is lost or stolen, you can of course get a free replacement card and it's the same terms. It's free for the first one. And of course you refer to eipcard.com for more information and you still do need to contact them and it says if you replace your if you misplaced your card you can lock your card by logging it online at eipcard.com to prevent unauthorized transactions or ATM withdrawals while you look for it so that's really rather important and if your card is permanently lost it is important that you call customer service at 800 240-8100 to report your lost or stolen card immediately so they can stop the fund so nobody else will use it and you can get a free replacement. And for cards with more than one name, only the primary card holder listed first on the card must make the call. That part is really important because, well, let's just say if you want a new card, only the primary card holder must make the call. In a few instances, the first name of one payee is linked to the last name of the second payee on the card for mismatched names. The payee with the first name on the first line should make the call. So that situation refers to sometimes the cards had the wrong names on them, but they were, how should we say it? It was right for the couple that lived in the house if they had two different last names. So sometimes the last names got mixed up with the different people. So that's why it may not be correct. So I want to repeat that again. It's, it's the first name of one payee is linked to the last name of a second payee. And the payee with the first name on the first line should make the call. So, and that call is to 800-240-8100 or by logging in online at eipcard.com. See, that was simple. So now with information you have, once you get this EIP debit card, make certain you keep it. And the reason is, is the next stimulus payment, if you received an EIP card, is probably coming in on that card. In fact, 
if you had it and threw it away, you might want to order one right now because there's one thing for certain, like I mentioned at the beginning, is it looks for certain that, because they all the parties can agree, is that you will be getting another stimulus payment. And wouldn't it be nice that if you had an EIP card, that they were able to load it up so it was available immediately and you wouldn't have to wait for them to mail out a card or wait one week or two weeks or three weeks or four weeks. You have it right away. So that's the best reason to get a new replacement card. Anyway, thanks for joining us and supporting our channel, The Atlas Post. You can, of course, go to Patreon or buy me a coffee and show us some love. You can also help us out by sharing our videos, liking them, sharing them with a friend. Oh, yeah, we just mentioned sharing our videos. Make comments so other people can see it. And also, that does help with our algorithms. Besides, of course, playing our playlists and subscribing for the latest updates. So tap into your news with the Atlas Post and have a joyful day.